So uh, I'm about to do a really terrible, awful thing that uh, the emotional part of me really doesn't want to do, but intellectually I know it's going to be fine. We're here at Gunsight, and this is kind of one of the cooler contraptions here, especially if you're into precision rifle. This little gizmo here allows us to mount a scope, and we can check how well the elevation tracks with this. And the way we do this is that there's a very precise measurement. There's a little line right here, and exactly 100 yards downrange, we have a calibrated scale that will correspond with the movement of the reticle when we adjust the elevation to it. Now the point of this contraption is for when you're doing you know long range or extreme long range shooting you want to make sure that the correction that you're dialing that your scope indicates is actually what you want downrange. You know your um, shooting software is going to give you a solution for whatever range and you're going to dial it in. Well you know if the scope isn't tracking correctly you know, you're going to have to make an adjustment here. Now, that's all fine and good, but we're going to do something even worse. You know, Night Force scopes, I run them a lot. This is my personal scope, and they have a uh, well-earned reputation for extreme ruggedness. Back in the day, they did kind of a cool little marketing thing where they would take a scope and then throw it around a gravel parking lot and beat the hell out of it and uh, say, hey, this thing still works perfectly. Well, with my own personal scope, this 7 to 35, we're going to put that, uh, that theory to the test. So anyway, I'm going to get behind this. We're going to film through the reticle. I'm going to make adjustments from 0 to 20 mils. We're going to look at where the reticle ends up there. Then I'm going to take my beautiful scope that I love so much, do some really awful things to it, and then we're going to put it back in here and see if it hangs together. All right, so we have this thing mounted and correctly aligned with the uh, with the scale down range. You can see we've got it right now at zero. Um, it's it's perfectly there. And look through this, and sure enough, the horizontal crosshair is perfectly in line with the blue marker tape. So now we will take this, go to go to five. Perfect. Ten mils. Bingo. 15 mils. Now, if I were shooting one of my competition guns, you know, at 15 mils, I am out, you know, almost 1,500 yards or so, depending on what I'm doing. Let's go to 20. Nice. There's maybe a, a little bit, maybe like a, a tenth, tenth off at 20 mils. That's excellent. I have confirmed that my scope is a good scope. And we're going to see if five minutes from now that's still the case. <laughs> yeah, how about this? How about you beat it? Or beat it on the wood there? You mean on this thing like that? So. I'm not breaking it. All right, yeah, I mean, this is not recommended, not recommended use for this. So he can drive tent stakes, do all kinds of stuff. You can see it's getting a little, little bit of love taps here. All right. Again, I love this scope, but I can't even look at it. All right. Wow. We're gonna we're gonna see if this was a good idea or not. Well, I'll tell you what. Pretty close. It is, uh, yeah, pretty damn close. The wind. The thing weighs four, you know, there's 40 pounds of lead in there. The wind. Now the windage is shifted. We'll we'll get this thing back on, and I'll I'll let you adjust it. But the but the level is like within a tenth. You know, there's a slight little gap there. That itself is pretty remarkable, just in terms of the repeatability of the whole system. And maybe that's just luck of the draw. I don't know. Maybe if we did it ten times, it'd be different. But that's kind of cool. So. Uh, Corey got behind this and said the two words I was really hoping to hear. 
which is dead on. And uh, sure enough, there we are on zero. Five. Ten. Fifteen. And 20. My scope is okay. <laughs> wow. Well, you know what? I do it for science so you don't have to. The uh, That marketing claim from Night Force, it held up. It's a hell of a scope.